from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Uh, hey, when was the last time Tulsa was in the 30s? You have to go back to April 23rd. And that's been a while. Now, some of us had 30s this morning, but maybe not in Tulsa proper. Tomorrow morning, some people in the city of Tulsa could be down in the 30s because we're going to be right around 38 to 40 in most areas. Uh, the mornings below freezing so far have been pretty much uh, confined to far western Oklahoma. So not very many people have frozen as of yet. So this is the latest off the mesonet to give you a pretty good idea of what's happened. And it hasn't been too bad yet as far as the fall. But you might have noticed that we mentioned this last hour, the colors are just starting to kick in gear. So we expect over the next 10 days, things should really blow up and be beautiful. Temperatures in the 60s at this hour. We've had a light north wind across our area. Tonight with light winds and dry air in place, these are going to be a little bit on the cold side. As we said, we've got frost advisories pretty much all around uh, from west, southwest to Tulsa to northwest to north to northeast to east. And even if you're around McAllister in southeast Oklahoma, the air is just barely dry enough that it could get down closer to mid-30s in a few valleys and frost and maybe even a freeze someplace. All right, so tomorrow, big rebound. Winds will become light out of a south direction during the course of the afternoon hours. Very light if you're east of Tulsa, a little stronger if you're out west. Notice how much warmer it is out west as well, so a rapid warm up into the 80s out in the panhandle. And then as we work our way into Wednesday morning, here comes a boundary, but we'll be generally with light south wind, not as chilly. We'll be in the upper 40s, low 50s all across our area from McAllister up to Coffeyville. And then as we go through the daytime hours, it'll be nice. Late afternoon, the winds will shift around to the north really toward evening about this time. Uh, temperatures will manage to get in the upper 70s, though. And then a few clouds will come in. Isolated showers are going to be possible, especially along the boundary and behind it. Sprinkles more so than anything else, so nothing too impressive. Then comes Thursday, and temperatures in the 70s. We'll have a northwest wind blowing in at about 15, 25 miles per hour. So it'll be breezy but mild for a north wind. That's not too bad. And then Friday, look for temperatures in the 70s again. It's like... Okay, this is pretty cool. Out in western Oklahoma, we'll be in the 80s, so it's going to be warmer and the air is dry. Oktoberfest, a lot of fun things happening. The Beer Meister's Ball. I guess there's still some tickets available to that as of just a couple of hours ago anyway. That's going on Tuesday evening. On Wednesday is corporate night, and again, other than a passing sprinkle, that we don't expect much. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the rest of us, man. That is like amazing. So if you have plans and just were the state fair wasn't enough, you got to get to Oktoberfest, fine. So here's what's happening as far as a jet stream. That cool air that's here gets bumped off to the east. We have this quick wave coming through. That's why we have this quick shower chance Wednesday. And then we have this ridge. Now in the summer, this was awful hot and nasty. And it'll be hot in the desert southwest. For us, it just gives us a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. So we're not complaining about anything because it's going to be awful nice. And I think we're going to be pretty doggone happy about it. But the northwest flow will make a difference as far as what's going on. So we will have to deal with that. And that's about the only thing that's a negative. With that ridge of high pressure showing up, that is going to stick around for just a little bit. And that could cause some problems as far as what's going on. Overall, though, by the time we get on into Sunday, we'll look for winds to be more westerly. And uh, that will... Uh, turn out to be pretty good. As far as precipitation chances, other than that passing sprinkle, not much going on, and the chance of showers and storms will be better Tuesday into Wednesday of next week with a big storm system coming in at that time. So our forecast looks like this. Overall, temperatures will be right around 52. Get us rolling into the evening hours, so we're going to call it chilly. Sunsets, so does your temperature. And the thermometer. And then by morning, 40 in Tulsa. That means 30s. Patchy frost in some areas. Cover your tender vegetation, as we say. Mid-60s by noontime, and then by late afternoon, highs will be in the low 70s. Upper 70s after that to near 80. So some gorgeous, gorgeous fall weather. And then stormy weather in the middle of next week. That's beautiful forecast for sure. Yes, it is. Thank you. Tender vegetation. I like that. Tomatoes. For sure. Tomatoes. <laughs>